Geometry Dash 2.2 finally came out. As of recording this video, it's almost been two weeks since it released, and with that seven year wait time, I think it's finally time we ask ourselves the question, was it worth the wait? We're gonna be looking at Dash, the tower, and to just see every single bit that I value and to see if it was truly worth the seven year wait that we were given. All right, so we're going to start off by talking about Dash, right? And I think that Dash is a bit of a letdown. I think it's only a bit of a letdown. I still believe that this level is very good. We're just going to talk briefly about the level, and then after that, I'm going to chop, um, chop up the level and talk about the segments themselves. Although, as a whole, this level's like a, a 6 out of 10. Like, I know, like, that's not good, like, to a lot of people, and some people may think it's a 10. Some people may even think it's lower. I would love to talk to those people do you guys think it's lower than a six i don't know right but that's just my opinion because i think that after 28 percent this level just falls off tremendously i mean there's a lot of repetition there's a lot of useless areas and a lot of open space and uh, i don't know i don't know right i mean after the stagnant like platformer-esque i get that it's auto scroll right but like the the platformer looking area where you count down you go three two one after that the level has completely fallen off, it's lost its art design, there's no consistency whatsoever, and in reality it's just not that enjoyable of a playthrough. Now that I've taken off my hype glasses, right, the seven year wait glasses, and I'm looking at the level for what it is, I think that the ideas are kind of cool, but they're not consistent. And I think that the art design is awesome at times, but it's also not consistent. And that's something that I value in a level. I don't create levels, okay, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not some well-known creator or some well-known YouTuber in general with the Geometry Dash space, but I still feel like I should give my opinion on Dash, right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, dude, the way that the level starts off, the first 28%, the part that we knew is it's so good it's amazing it's it's i can't talk about the beginning enough there's a reason why it was the sneak peek dude we got the swing copter and then we thought that the sneak peek was going to end at the swing copter but no then we see the camera change and then we see the camera change again and then it's up to this part where it kind of starts falling off the ball segment is boring it's plain and i don't actually like how the camera goes around with the ball section either i believe that it's um it's more reminiscent of an online level where someone was trying to test out the camera rather than and Rob Top, the creator of the damn game in the first place, using it. So, yeah, I don't know how quite to feel about the ball segment. Feels out of touch, doesn't really match a lot. I'm just going to skip right to halfway with this stagnant area. I believe it's a cool idea, although I believe that this is more of an explorer's thing. I understand that the whole countdown thing is literally to do with the lyrics of the level. I get that, right? But I'm more talking about just the design. Like, this ship area is clearly rushed. It has nothing to do with dash. The colors are extremely bland. I mean, we went from this fiery, red, rage level to black and green and then near the end i mean it's awesome this part looks incredible looks straight from explorers from what we've seen from the sneak peek because that's not out as recording this video but it has nothing to do with dash and that's just not really what i value rob top has some banger levels and my what i value the most out of those levels is the fact that the whole art design is consistent dash is the complete opposite when it comes to that if we're talking about the difficulty of the level it's just simply not a concern it it could have been an easy, it could have been a demon, right? I just wanted the level to be good. I think that it being a very easy, insane level gives a lot of value to 2.2 because similar to how this is gonna sound like really far-fetched, but hear me out. Similar to how the campaign in a Call of Duty back when Call of Duty was good would paint the picture for multiplayer. I believe that Rob Top's levels paint the picture for the online levels, right? So when Finger Dash came out, everyone loved Finger Dash. It was incredible. I still love it. I think that's one of Rob Top's best levels. And that painted a very good picture for the future of 2.1. I think that despite my criticism for Dash, I think that it still painted a very good picture. Although what we're going to be getting into next is what's fully paved the way for the new trends, what everyone's talking about for Geometry Dash 2.2. I mean, you know what I was gonna say, Welcome to the tower, everyone. The tower is a complete banger. It's awesome. He didn't miss. I think that all the art design, the ideas that he went for, the blue hidden coins, to just the gold coins in general, to the time limit, to the boss fight. I'll get to that though, though some people were a bit iffy about that. I think that Rob Top not only put all of his time and effort into that, not to discredit Dash, we get it, okay? It was a good level, but I'm trying to forget about that. I think that he put all of his time pretty much 
into platformer mode. And not only was this the part of the update that I was the most excited for, it has actually exceeded my expectations. It is an, uh, uh, I'm speechless. I'm gonna keep that part in the video. I know that it's a bit of a, you know, stutter, but I'm quite literally speechless about how good of a job Rob Top has done so far with platformer mode. Now, something that I wanted to speak about, which is actually the most important part, in my opinion, is we're all new to platformer mode. We're all new to it, right? It's been around for 11 days as of recording this video, but we were all on day one. And we can all come together and say that Rob Top did an incredible job to help teach us and to help ease us into higher difficulty platformer levels as we finally go online, we go to platformer, we press demon, and we see what we can do. I think that it's perfect. I think that it's incredible. I'm so excited for level two. It might not hit the same now that I've gotten used to these um, insane demons for platformer mode. That might get downgraded in the future, but you get the idea, right? They're harder. But for, for the first level, the fact that I didn't play an online level before I played the first level and I just experienced what Robtop wanted the player to feel when getting used to the 2.2 platformer mode, it was incredible. It was amazing. And I don't have enough good things to say about it, dude, because I feel like I'm undermining how much I love platformer mode. It's amazing. Now, I do have some ifs and buts, but they're nitpicks, right? They're nitpicks, such as <laughs> like some of the blue coins like, I don't know why these two were next to each other on the beginning level. I don't know, but whatever, right? That's a nitpick. Or, okay, no, you know what? This this one's not really a nitpick. You have to, like, stand here or wait here, whatever you want to call it, for one of the blue coins. Who's finding that? Who's finding that? Listen, Rob Top, I know, dude, like, if, if I was in your shoes, I'm not making good, like, coin spots, dude, please. Like, don't, let it be known, dude, I'm not that good of a creator, so take this with a grain of salt, you know? Like, we love saying that here on the channel when it comes to videos like this, but stuff like that is crazy, dude. Like, that blue coin sucks, all right? I'm sorry, it sucks. But other than that, I think that they're all cool. This one where you have to jump up and down for the little spikes at the bottom to break, that one's not my favorite either, but apart from that, I think you did a pretty damn good job, man. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with that? They're nitpicks, okay? Like, I'm not being too serious about it. That's that's why my tone is the way that it is. But yeah, no, that is... <laughs> some of those, some of those coins. Okay, let's just, um, let's stop beating around the bush. All right, let's stop it. The boss fight. How do we feel about the boss fight? Now, the reason why I said how do we feel is because I've never heard a consistent group of people talk about the boss fight. Sometimes it's glitched. Sometimes they just don't like it. Sometimes I've seen people, they just don't like the concept of it in general. I don't quite understand that at all, but people are entitled to their own opinion. Maybe someone disliked this video in the first two seconds because they reckon that Dash is the best form of anything to ever exist in human history, right? But, it, you know, you get the idea, right? So, yeah, people are quite torn up on the boss fight. I think that it is the best it could be. And this is gonna, that, like, that's a crazy thing to say, like, say, despite the criticism that it's received. But, simply put it, like, let's hope that the bugs get fixed, right? Like, the glitches. But that's not my point, right? That that will get fixed. That will get fixed. Any day now, really, Rob Top has spoken about it getting fixed. So that's not a concern, right? I'll leave that out of the video. I think that it's the best way to introduce the player into how immersive, how crazy, how out-of-the-box platformer can be. That's how I see it. I look at the boss fight, I go, this is outrageous. And then I, t then I pause the game and I go, well, that's really what I wanted. I wanted platformer mode to be outrageous. I wanted it to make no sense. I wanted it to just be a complete standout. And the fact that we have this uh, stupid boss fight with the boss making some random noises at the beginning that caught that caught me off guard at least because i'm like man what the hell this is geometry dash this used to be a cube game <laughs> you know what i'm saying but no like that's uh, that's great i think that that's the best way that rob could have added it let me know in the comment section below is your boy colors gaming tripping balls because i see the boss fight and i go nah this is what's up this is what's up like this this is happening this is awesome some people think the complete opposite so let me know in the comment section below all right let me know
So just by launching up the game and going to your character customization, this is awesome, dude. So not only do we have more shards, which is which is great, which is great. I just love collecting things. You you can tell in the um, right um, top right. I don't play this game religiously, although I do love collectibles in games, right? And for us to have a ton more shards, including a new bonus unlocks tab, love it, love it, love it. What I also love is the immersive amount of colors, dude, because your boy is called Colors Gaming, you know, I love my colors, man, they express how your boy is feeling, and for you to even do the little things, like have this immersive page of colors on top of the fact that you can change your glow color, that, like, I don't even use glow, I don't even use it, I don't even use it, but I think that that is the coolest thing ever like for my color scheme you can have the normal glow you can put it onto this cool turquoise looking color you can put it on shit brown weird yellow weird green some stupid more green i don't even know what i was doing when i was recording this segment you can even put it on red which looks terrible with my layout you know what i'm saying but you can do it it's a possibility and that's what I love, dude, because whenever these games come out, whenever any game that I'm ever playing comes out with an update, I'm going, that's a, that's a why not. That's a why not. Why not be able to make this hideous color scheme? Why not have this massive plethora of colors that I can choose from that I'll never probably unlock or use, but I can appreciate it because it's just so dope. I love it. And then what I'm also showing you guys right now, and you guys have obviously seen it, it was in the trailer, 700 new icons. Banger, dude. Like, you can't look at these icons and go, nah, man, Rob Top's missing. What do you mean he's missing, bro? Like, everyone is going to have an icon that they like. Look at this ball circle circle ball. What are you talking about man? Like it's crazy like like why not look at this shit shout out Mario 64 What are y'all talking about man? We got a bomb on robot because why not man? Like that's why 2.2 is so great man because you have so much freedom to do literally whatever the hell you want Platform mode is literally an example of that dude. Look how cool the spiders look look how many swings we have I get that a lot of them uh, wait until 2.21 comes out But by the time this video drops you'd like to hope that there's an S that, that there's an ETA, right? So I'm just gonna leave that. But look at this. We even got some jetpacks, bro. There's not a lot of them. I don't know why. I don't know why there's not a lot of jetpacks, but it's whatever. It's not really a utilized thing in platformer as of making this video. 2,500 moons is crazy. And then you can buy that one, so that's cool. Then you also have the ship, um, ship fires. That's cool. You got some more explosions, which we'll get to as well. It's just, it's just why not, dude? And that's why I love it. You even have animations for platformer mode with the robots dude oh my goodness now the shop and the treasure like the shops plural and the treasure room update is pretty crazy man now listen i don't really have too many keys so i haven't been opening up the 100 chests and all that but i've seen youtube videos on it they're pretty cool and just for the shop to have extra stuff and i actually don't mind despite not having orbs at all i'm trying to save up for the 100k which we'll get to in a second of what that even is for those that for some reason don't know about it oh my god man i love that i love that right like the grind set when it comes to video game collecting dude like oh yeah that that character's 25,000 orbs like let's get it baby let's do it let's grind for that dude all these cool weird looking things even the things i don't even personally like they're 10,000 why not let's do it you know what i'm saying and anyways this is what i was talking about before what i just got here with the you cannot afford that item stuff like that is awesome right because we saw hints towards it in mega hack v7 at least for the pr um, practice music which you can get with diamonds what we just saw just then with the orbs is the main menu music being able to be changed as well so it's just like why why not dude am i gonna change my menu music probably not but am i gonna buy that anyways for 100,000 orbs yes because why not 5,000 diamonds is ridiculous for someone that doesn't play the game religiously but am i gonna buy that yeah am i gonna use it probably but i don't even know for sure <laughs> you know what i'm saying because why not dude awesome and then we also got some gauntlets shout out the gauntlets man listen i haven't completed all of them <laughs> i haven't completed all the gauntlets even the new ones or and some of the older ones but we did the discord we did the split that's on the channel we also did the world gauntlet that's also on the channel galaxy and universe 
I don't even think they'll ever make the channel. They're a bit difficult, okay? They're a bit difficult. I've done my recon. They're a bit much, right? But the fact that it's there, it's awesome. And apparently new ones are going to get added as well. So that is tight, bro. I love that, dude. That's awesome. Another thing that we've also spoken about here on the channel was the top lists, which I'm a big fan big big fan of because diamonds they're, they're not they're not falling out the sky baby okay this is earth we're living on earth we're playing geometry dash right so you need to grind some diamonds and the lists are awesome so i accidentally had done memory lane right made a video on it and i believe that it was in the same video that we played subwoofers the these right the woods the desert the shrine and the the right and we got diamonds for both of those and it's just cool new things like that that will stand the test of time i can confidently say that that really make this update worth it on top of that dude oh, there's just so many new things that we can do right we have paths of shards dude which you can buy for fifty thousand orbs and then you can progress by getting stars and moons dude and it's just more things like this more things to work towards you're not just going on search and you're looking at what's hype because evw made a video or nexus made this video on a cool thing you yourself can just hop off youtube for just one second and focus on your own paths which is literally what it's called dude to focus on your own gameplay so despite them not being a thing the map events and verses have been hinted towards. Now versus, I don't know if it's a joke because what you're gonna see on screen right now is the whole chopper little meme that Robtop has going on, but the versus tab never mentions 2.21. So I'm not quite sure when versus is gonna come out, although it can feel free to take its time. It's gonna be a big thing, right? Although with event and the map just being there, it paints the picture on the full idea of 2.2. And honestly, it could sound like cope. I think that it's not that bad of a thing that it hasn't been added in 2.2 and we have to wait because I honestly felt for the first week of 2.2, overwhelmed i felt overwhelmed and in a good way right in a good way like whenever a new game comes out i'm gonna feel overwhelmed whenever a new big update comes out like 2.2 i'm gonna feel overwhelmed but if the if the if the um if the map was added events and verses i i would have been in cardiac arrest right like it would have been way too much so although it might sound like cope i believe that it is truly a positive it's a silver lining that it wasn't added just because of the sheer content that we've seen in 2.2 so with the way that I've used my voice, right, my vocal inflections, everything, right, I, you guys can come to the conclusion, this was worth the wait. I know that seven years is outrageous, but listen, things happen, okay, and we've finally got in the update. I think that this is easily one of the biggest updates to any game that at least I value ever, and the fact that it's just going to keep on growing and the community's received it so well oh my god man it puts a smile to my face man it really does i love this update so much i love how the communities come together it is a peak time for gaming right now if you're a geometry dash fan dude and i couldn't have asked for more so that's it for today's video everyone um once again colors gaming is trying something new i spoke about dash being downgraded as a topic of discussion video i've been doing tutorials i'm always trying new things and now that we've surpassed 20 thousand subscribers yeah now pretty pretty crazy i'm always trying new things to see what sticks with my forever growing audience have a great new year everyone 2024 is going to be an absolute banger not only for colors gaming but i truly hope for every single person watching this video this video was a bit longer than i expected so editing may take a bit longer but that's completely fine that's the job that i that i take on and i love it right i thrive off that because i love making these videos thank you guys for watching this has been colors gaming Make sure to watch whatever video is on screen right now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.